game in this Oh, too many kills. Guys, I'm going to be giving away a couple of the $20 battle passes. So I want you guys to comment down below your favorite Call of Duty game of all time. And I want you to like the video and subscribe. And I'll be DMing some of the winners on Twitter. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today, I might have the most overpowered class for you that I've ever used in my life. And to be fair, a lot of people say they don't really like this setup. So I'm, I'm kind of on the edge a little bit here. But today, we're talking about the M60. So I've heard a lot of mixed things about the M60 on Twitter, on YouTube, and everything like that. And people are saying that it's awful. It's just not. It's probably one of the best guns in the game. The gameplay I'm going to show you guys today was 120 plus kills on Nuketown using the M60. However, the game glitched. We're in a domination game and it said that we already reached the first half of the domination game. A couple of minutes after the first half, I looked and it was still, the points were still within the first half. They were below 100. So I was like, oh, okay, then this is going really, really weird. So it gave us so much more time to be able to get all these kills and it was just absolute carnage. Guys, I hope you do go ahead and enjoy this gameplay. If you do, be sure to leave a like. I'll be absolutely amazing. Stick around for the end of the video for the class setup if you're in interested in what I was using in this gameplay and guys without further ado let's get into this oh I will oh my god game six dick all over the wall yeah I think yeah right a little bit Ugh. Taking Taking fucking easier to get hot early honestly the best kill streak in the fucking game night Oh my god, yes. Take the objective. <laughs> it's done. Duh, uh, picture earlier. <laughs> Bad. Get this new real quick for the game. In this. Why should be able to? Oh, yeah. Nice lad. Nice one, brother. Oh wait, we're still in the first half. What? We're not, because we have. We're, uh, have they extended the games? Nah, I think it's been broken here. It was definitely broken here. Well, this is giving me time to get me nuke. That's fine. Thank you very much. Oh, this game lasts forever. Look how gone that last. I'm just like fucking. Charlie. Enemy care package above. Push 
Oh, you mean with this V sat in the air? Oh, too many kills. Oh, yes. There, this lobby is getting fucking fucked. Maddest games I've ever been in in my life. Oh my god. This fucking guy, calm down, please. Fucking hell, man. He's like ruined all my chances of going for a, a really high kill game. On the last second, 21, I might be able to. I'm gonna do it. Oh, 121, though. Out and I got a double nuke. Come on. Guys, I hope you did enjoy that gameplay. It was pretty damn crazy. So right now, I'm going to show you guys the class as well we're using in that gameplay. And it's just one of my favorite guns to use in the game at the moment. Although getting headshots with it is really difficult because it's so powerful. You just, it's, you, you, I really struggle with headshots. Anyway, nevertheless, this is set up on screen right now. If you want to go copy exactly what I was using up to obviously the loadout, whereas the actual attachments are as follows. The optic, I was going with the millstop reflex. It's the best one in my opinion and the easiest one to go with just to, to be safe with. The muzzle, I use the agency suppressor because it helps with recoil and muzzle flash concealment. Again, if you don't have that, the suppressor will work just fine. For barrel, I was just using the 22.8 inch match grade barrel, which just gives you an increase of effective damage range. However, if you wanted to go with something like this one right here, this might be a little bit mad to go for the 22.8 task force barrel, which I haven't used yet, but I might stick on. Go with any of those two, they'll be fine. If you guys don't have that, again, the one I typically just go with would be the 18.9 division barrel. It gives you an additional 35% movement speed and a 10% damage increase. So I would go with that one if you've not unlocked the others. Skipping over the body and going over to the under barrel, we're going with the field agent foregrip because it's just the best one in the, in the category. Hands down, if you don't have it, the foregrip will be absolutely fine. So don't worry about that. And then in regards to the magazine, we're going with a vandal speed loader just because, again, this thing reloads very, very quickly with this on i mean it's a little bit faster than what an ar would without fast mag it's pretty damn crazy so if you don't have that obviously just go with a normal fast mag it reloads pretty much exactly the same however if you do have this or this these are the two best to go with guys that's the set i was using in this video the way to set an m60 up is to try and get as little recoil and movement as possible without the attachments on an m60 it is going to be a bit crap it's going to move around a lot and you're going to really struggle however when you do unlock these attachments for it and get a good decent setup going for the weapon it really really does help so uh guys that's been the setup today guys i hope you have enjoyed the video if you do be sure to leave a like that'd be absolutely amazing and subscribe if you guys are brand new to be able to enter into that 20 dollar battle pass giveaway away if you haven't already got it so uh, be sure to stick around for that and take part by commenting down below but guys without further ado we'll see you in the next one